We're all curious by nature. This curiosity propels us to ask big questions, like, is there life elsewhere in the universe? To find answers, we're also looking closer to home, right here on Earth. We're studying something called microbial dark matter. It's akin to two sides of the same coin. Studying life out there in space in the unseen life right under our noses. We see and touch life every day. The whale in the ocean. The gazelle in the field. The ant building a hill. And the bird flying high in the sky. This is the life we know. But here's a secret. These forms of life that we see are just a tiny part of all the life forms on Earth. So, when we think about what life on other planets might look like, we usually imagine something similar to life here on Earth. But what if there's more to life than what we see? What if the unseen life, the microbial dark matter holds the key? These tiny life forms can survive in tough conditions. And they're incredibly complex. They're making us rethink what life can be. By studying this unseen life, we could get a clearer picture of what life beyond Earth might be like. After all, isn't that a question we've all asked at some point? Are we alone in the universe? It's a great question. And the answer might just lie in understanding the unseen life on Earth. As we learn more about life here, and continue to search for life in space, we're not just understanding more about life, we're understanding more about our place in the universe. Indeed, as we delve deeper into the mysteries of life here on Earth, we stumble upon a world thriving beneath our notice, the unseen realm of microorganisms. The tiniest and simplest forms of life inhabit this realm, thriving everywhere. From the warmth of bubbling hot springs to the icy wilderness of polar caps, from the deepest trenches of the ocean to the soaring mountain peaks, and from the fertile soils of rainforests to the barren sands of deserts. These invisible beings reside on us, and within us too. In our guts, on our skin, and even within our hair and nails. They fill the air we breathe, surviving even in environments we once thought were uninhabitable. This microscopic kingdom is incredibly diverse encompassing entities we're only beginning to understand. Bacteria, viruses, and an intriguing group known as Archaea, initially believed to exist only in the harshest conditions. Recent research hints at their ubiquitous presence across our planet. Proteists, a category that includes both single-celled and multicellular organisms like algae, amoebas, slime molds, and protozoa. Add another layer of complexity to this unseen world. And with future investigations, we might uncover even more categories within this miniature cosmos. Just as the term, dark matter, is used to describe the elusive substances in space that don't absorb, reflect, or emit light. Scientists use the phrase, microbial dark matter, to denote the vast array of microorganisms on Earth that remain hidden from traditional study. Even though we can't easily see them or grow them in labs, they represent a crucial component of Earth's biodiversity. Many of these elusive organisms live in non-extreme conditions. But our inability to study them effectively using traditional microbiology tools has left them shrouded in mystery.
These tiny life forms play crucial roles in many fundamental processes that make Earth habitable. Acting as the planet's invisible caretakers, they weave intricate webs of biochemical reactions. Continuously recycling vital elements like carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, and sulfur, thereby nurturing life. Consider the nitrogen-fixing bacteria enriching our soils. The photosynthetic cyanobacteria contributing oxygen to our atmosphere. And the myriad decomposers returning nutrients back to the environment. They all work in harmony. Unnoticed yet indispensable. These microscopic allies partake in myriad activities. From nutrient cycling to carbon sequestration. From waste decomposition to soil creation. And from climate regulation to health maintenance. They are the unseen gears helping the engine of life run seamlessly on Earth. Yet, despite their critical roles, our knowledge about these microbes is still in its nascent stage. Traditional methods of studying these life forms, such as isolating and culturing individual species in labs, have proven problematic. Many microbes simply refuse to grow when plucked from their natural habitats and placed in a petri dish. Plus, these techniques overlook the complex interactions within microbial communities, where different species often collaborate in intricate networks. To overcome these hurdles, scientists have turned to innovative methods like metagenomics, which involves directly sequencing genetic material from environmental samples. This technique bypasses the need to grow organisms in a lab, enabling us to study microbes within their natural habitats, offering a more comprehensive and accurate view of microbial diversity. Single-cell genomics further deepens our understanding by isolating individual microorganisms and sequencing their DNA. It's akin to examining a single puzzle piece in minute detail, scrutinizing its shape, color, and patterns. Although this approach doesn't immediately reveal the complete picture, it offers invaluable insights about that one crucial segment. These advancements are pushing the boundaries of our understanding bringing us closer to unraveling the mysteries of the microbial universe. Recent leaps in technology have illuminated our quest to explore the microbial dark matter. We've discovered a multitude of new microorganisms residing in diverse habitats. From the soils beneath our feet to the depths of our oceans. And even within our own bodies. Yet, it's astonishing to consider that we've only scratched the surface with a staggering 99% of microbial species still remaining hidden from our understanding. Scientists are also working tirelessly to sequence these microorganisms, shedding light on their unique genetic makeup and metabolic processes. Our understanding of the interactions and symbioses within these microbial communities is still evolving and many aspects remain shrouded in mystery. However, with the advent of tools like molecular technology, we're optimistic about uncovering the secrets of these elusive life forms. This deeper understanding may pave the way for innovative applications. From new treatments in medicine to novel approaches for energy production, As we intensify our investigation of the unseen life on Earth, our quest for life is also reaching towards the stars. Technological advances have propelled our capacity to explore the cosmos to unprecedented levels. We're now able to dispatch spacecraft to distant planets and moons, retrieve samples from asteroids, and discover thousands of exoplanets orbiting stars beyond our solar system. Our efforts to unveil the enigma of extraterrestrial life and understand Earth's microbial dark matter are two sides of the same coin. Our comprehension of life on Earth, particularly microbes, 
shapes our expectations for potential extraterrestrial life and where it could exist. Consider extremophiles, microorganisms that defy the odds, thriving in conditions too harsh for most known species. These resilient microbes can withstand environments with extreme temperatures, pressures, salinity, acidity, or radiation. Their existence on Earth broadens our understanding of what habitable might mean, both here and on distant planets. As we continue to push the frontiers of our knowledge, we inch closer to answering the profound question, are we alone in the universe? Exploring these extremophiles opens a window to the potential signatures of life on other planets. Think of the thermophilic bacteria thriving in searing hot springs, or the psychrophiles surviving in the icy deserts of Antarctica. Consider the piezophiles dwelling in the pressurized trenches of our oceans, or the oligotrophs colonizing the nutrient-scarce realms of our stratosphere. Take for instance methanogens, microscopic life forms that release methane as a byproduct of their metabolic activities. The discovery of methane in Mars' atmosphere stirs a sense of intrigue, hinting at the possible existence of such organisms on the red planet. Not to mention, life forms that metabolize arsenic, those that flourish devoid of sunlight, and those that can withstand intense radiation zones. Each of these surprising revelations expands our understanding of life's adaptations, and hints at the potential forms of biochemistry that could exist beyond our planet. The possibility of life forms having a different biochemistry, such as being based on silicon instead of carbon or using arsenic instead of phosphorus in their DNA, were once limited to science fiction. Today, these possibilities are subjects of earnest scientific discussions. Our quest to decipher the microbial dark matter on Earth serves as a compass guiding us in our search for extraterrestrial life. It broadens our perspective on life, helping us realize the numerous forms it can take, many of which might not resemble anything we've seen on Earth. Conversely, our search for life beyond Earth also informs our study of the microbial dark matter. The contemplation of life existing elsewhere pushes us to look beyond our Earth-centric perspectives of life. This approach enables us to explore the breadth of microbial dark matter on our planet. As our definitions and expectations of life are no longer confined to what we already know, the mystery continues to unravel expanding our knowledge about the universe and our place in it.